Peanuts Award. So in case you know, <clears throat> he has a he has a southern draw, so it does not pronounce right. So that's how the whole thing even came about. But anyway, my man Vince Wright is another X Squad affiliate. He has two shows on the network. One of them you can catch Tuesday evenings, eight thirty Eastern Standard Time. That is the Sports Done Right show, and man, he brings it. All the way, you know what I'm saying? He brings it with the perspective of that Midwest flavor, but he's bringing all the different sports. My man Vince Wright is also now working to be one of the hardest working X Squad affiliates, too, because he's got several shows he's popping up on, too, man. All kind of shows he's got going on, man. This dude right here has got a boxing show on Friday evenings. Shout out to IE Sports. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to them guys over there doing it big and giving Vince an X Squad affiliate the opportunity. So, yeah, like I said, my man Vince. He's got sports done right. He also has a sports and more show one half uh, of the duo of him and my man Reggie, a.k.a. DJ Dollars and Cents. So, yeah, we got that. Yo, we got Al B. Sure up in this piece. <laughs> What's up, Al B. Sure? Al, 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 Al B. Sure. Al, Al, Al B. Sure. You know, when I was in high school, man, I used to think I was Al B. Sure. I used to have a freaking stone wash washed out joint. You know what I'm saying? I'm browner than that dude, but I had to try to wear my joint curly and stuff. I was like, damn, I wish my eyebrows would grow in. You know what I'm saying? Get that unibrow thing going on, man. Dry the girls crazy in high school. Yep, that's what I thought it was, man. Yo, let's see who else we got. We got DJ Nunu in here representing MCDE. Yo, DJ Nunu and Queen. I'm telling you, these ladies, man. That Queen right behind her. Look, I'm, I'm gonna give y'all y'all just do them. I'm gonna knock y'all separately. Anyway, DJ Nunu representing MCDE. She's straight out of Vegas, I believe, and I'm I'm telling you, man, she has wonderful mixes that she puts on once a week, twice a week. I think maybe twice a week, and uh, excellent song selections, so, song choices, and they'll keep you grooving. You you want to find her on Spreaker? That's Nunu N U N U. And then her sidekick, her partner is DJ Queen, who represents the X Squad, Squad Up. DJ Queen has several shows on the network, too. She does two mixes uh, a week, sometimes three, you know what I'm saying? But you can get a flavor of all kind of flavors, man. You can get R&B, you can get hip-hop, you can get blues, you can get a little bit of everything. So between Queen and Nunu, you're going to be filled up, you know what I'm saying? So shout out to these ladies. Find them on Spreaker, you know what I'm saying? They do it big. Uh, who else we have? Oh, another X Squad affiliate, my man Big L up in the building. What's good, Big L? How are you, brother? I know it. I know it. I know it. Big L is always found in our shows, man. Big L can be, you know, what I'm saying, in the middle of a, of a storm without no electricity, man. But he gonna have it on. He gonna have his ears on. Them wireless beats, man. He rocking. We got Mocha, Mocha up representing the 305. Another X Squad affiliate. What's good, Mocha? Welcome. Uh, let's see, am I still going down the line? I think I am close to the end. All right, we're here now. I got it. So, anyway, like I said, here we are. Have some good basketball games on. And, uh, yeah, yeah. So, this is me with the live SME, the SME Network broadcast of the Kicking With KC show. And uh, that's what I do, man. That's what I do. I, I, I jump in. Oh, Easy jumped in here, in here too. Did I miss you, Easy? My man, Easy up in here. Easy does it photography. An X Squad affiliate, man. If you need good pictures, this is the man here. He represents from the east side of Atlanta. And man, you want to check him out. Easy does it photography. You can find him on Facebook. You can find a profile of him on X Squad affiliate. But this guy here, you want to get in touch with him because he's going to do you right when it comes to those pictures. You want those uh, family portraits. You want, you know what I'm saying, some 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 on-site pictures or something. You know what I'm saying? You, want to, you, need, to, you need to look this dude up here. He's an X-Squad affiliate, official photographer of X-Squad affiliates. And uh, definitely be sure to get in touch with him and get your business on. You need them new shots for your new profile. You know what I'm saying? You need a new profile. You need a new... Uh, Facebook profile, you need a new work profile, you need new family portraits, you need new website pictures, whatever it is, man, whatever the occasion may be, my man EZ is going to handle it. All right, so, yeah, 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 Big L, my man, my man Big L was saying, yeah, you you be at every show, man, you for real, every show, he be on vacation, he on a, in a carnival cruise ship, right there on the beach, 
You know what I'm saying? He got that one ear hidden over there, that little wireless one in his left ear, because the wife be talking on the right ear, because she ain't went crazy on him. Like, man, I know you're not listening to another one, no podcast. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway, that's how my man Big L does it, man. Uh, 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 uh. Now, as I was saying, this show right here, you know what I'm saying? When I say, you ain't got the answers, K. You know what I'm saying? That's, a, that's my take of a, you ain't got the answers, Sway. The, the, the famous Kanye line to, to, to sway. But I don't have an answer. But what I, what I actually am about to discuss tonight, because y'all heard it, y'all had a little piece of it from Microwave Show this week. And I'm not trying to dive deep into it. It's going to be a little hit and, 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 and touch and then move off. But it's about this whirlwind, man. Society has gotten so soft. It's like baby shit. For real. It's so soft out here, man. For real. I mean, really. What do we got to do now? We got to cater for you? We got to make things easier for you? We're going to give you a participation trophy for, for, for participating now? You're not just going to get a trophy just on first, second, third place. You're going to get a trophy for participating. Is that the world we live in now? I mean, in reality, it is what we're in. And people say, okay, times have changed, man. Y'all can't keep living. Technology changed. Things changed. Blah, blah, blah. Things, the, the, the game is faster. The game is harder. This, this, this. What I'm actually discussing right now, we're going to go right off the bat. And we're going to talk about this NBA thing. You know what I'm saying? I'm really, I said I'm going to hit it in this because so too many shows touched the subject this week. But I'm going to say my part and then I'm going to keep it moving. You know what I'm saying? The whirlwind is soft, man. It's like okay, so you, this all stems from LeBron taking off a couple games, and everybody. It's not just him, but you know what I'm saying. There's there's other players that the coaches decide to arrest their players and allow them to be more fresher when it comes to you know later on in the season. And you know this was actually made popular by the. Uh, San Antonio Spurs, Greg Popovich did it with, you know, some of his players, Tim Duncan and um, Ginobili, etc. But now let, let's, let's break this down. OK. People say it's extending the life of the players. It's allowing them to um, extend their careers by years, etc. This, this is the same NBA. This is the same NBA with Jordan. Pippen, Kobe, Shaq, Patrick Ewing, um, Carl Malone, Charles Barkley, Red uh, Rodman. I mean, for real, all of these players they didn't have this luxury, and the game did what it did. You know what I'm saying? If you're too tired or you hurt or you got the flu or whatever, then yeah, maybe you can you can actually take off because of a, a, a illness or a sickness, but to just do that, just in preparation because, okay, you're going to play the New Jersey Nets. The Cavs play the New Jersey Nets. I'm sorry, the, Bro- the Brooklyn Nets. I'm, I'm saying old school shit. So the Brooklyn Nets. Because you're playing the Brooklyn Nets, you decide, okay, we might not need to go full strength on them. We'll just go ahead and run out here with Kyle Corbin and J.R. Smith. And we'll just rest LeBron. He ain't need this game. That is pure bullshit. Imagine living in Brooklyn. You aren't even a Brooklyn fan, but you're a Cavs fan. You go to this game, and because you go to this game, you decide to go to this game and see, okay, I want to get a glimpse of LeBron. I want to get a glimpse of Tristan, LeBron, uh, uh, Kyrie, etc. But yet, you go to the game, Kyrie and LeBron are in their street clothes, sitting on the bench. And you you have to sit here and watch Brooklyn versus... Freaking Kyle Culver, J.R. Smith, Tristan Thomas. You know what I'm saying? So, so in reality, this shit goes on. It's not just the Cavs. It's Golden State. It's all kind of teams that do this crazy stuff, man. You know what I'm saying? It's like, why? This is a game that we pay for. This is a game. You are a player. Of course, you make your salary, but the game is serviced by fans. Okay, you get your money, but it's serviced by fans because we pay the tickets for you to make money, you get endorsements, you get advertisement deals, you get all that type of stuff, of course. And you're an NBA professional player. And, 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 and people try to say, okay, well, you could call off on your job, but that's voluntary. 
because I have a vacation coming up or I got something coming up or I might even have a sick day. We ain't taking off because of, you know what I'm saying? We take the, the the players ain't taking off because they got an illness going or I got I got to rest my sore calf or whatever. They taking off because they they just could take off. And that's just unacceptable, man. In this league that we in, it is unacceptable. I mean, the NBA already is it, it, it's a watered down game. Where are the rivalries? Where are these guys going one on one on each other? Where is it? Where is it? Where you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna do my best to to go at this dude. We friends, but to that tonight on this floor, me and him going at it one on one. You know what I'm saying? It's it, it's lost. The art of it is lost. The rivalry is lost. You know what I'm saying? Dwayne Wade and LeBron James. Are on two different teams, but yet they're still the best of friends. You can be that, but when Chicago plays the Cavs, you should be going straight at this dude. I mean, it might even go to blows because you're so competitive. This, the art of this is gone. You no longer see this anymore. You're saying it makes no sense at all. I don't understand. You know what I'm saying? I don't understand at all. <laughs> at all. At all. And like, uh, let me see. My man, Big L, said, yeah, very, very true. Soft as hell. That's the world we in, man. It's just a soft world, man. It's a it's a total soft world. And, and, and I don't understand it. I don't understand where we're going and why it's like this. You know what I'm saying? My man, snug up in this piece, man. Welcome, man. Another ex-squad affiliate, man. You, hey, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm having to touch that subject because I didn't get the mic long enough. I was on microwave show and I talked a little bit about it. But right now, I got shot off the show. I got I got shot off the show. So now, I'm right up. He missed me, man. That nigga missed me. So now, I'm back up. And I'm talking. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? He he shot at me, but I'm still talking. So anyway, <laughs> what I had to say was, this league that we're in, man, it's a watered-down league. The whole the whole premise of the league is watered down, man. The whole, the pay, you know what I'm saying? What, first off, first off, I'm not one of those people. I'm going to say I'm not one of those people. You got some people who prefer college sports because they feel like, NBA players don't deserve the money they get, and they're lazy, and they don't play with the same intensity as college players. I'm not that. I'm not that person, so I'm not about to dog the NBA because I prefer the NBA over college basketball. I'm not even necessarily a college basketball fan until the big tournament here. That's it. I don't really follow it that much until I get down here to the tournament, and that's why my brackets show it. You know, what I'm saying my brackets fall all the way to hell off. Brackets all the way went to hell. You know, what I'm saying. Yo, shout out my Bootsy and shout out to uh, Clay Davis up in this piece too. I see y'all checking in. But anyway, like I was saying, so I follow the NBA. So I like the I like the premise of the game. The game actually has changed. It's a more faster game. You don't have the same uh, aesthetics that you had back in the day. You had that one. You had that big man that you feed the ball to, have him wear down. You know what I'm saying? Down low and get it in. You know what I'm saying? It, it doesn't happen like that anymore. You know what I'm saying? The game isn't even like that no more. Now you got centers, big seven-foot dudes taking three-point shots and stuff because that's just where we have uh, gone to. You know what I'm saying? Basketball has changed as far as the purity of it. You know what I'm saying? The, the AAU, some people say AAU has ruined the game. I'm not sure if I fully believe that, but it has made some changes, man. It, everybody thinks they're a star now. Everybody wants star status. Uh, that's just the mentality we got right now. Cause I'm, you know, what I'm saying we on we right now on the NBA, but I'm gonna touch in the music. I'm touching in all the society aspects, man. And I can't hit everything because, but but we're in a soft world. That's what I'm saying. It's everything is baby shit soft, and I can't understand why and why we're there. Why we're at this point? What's going on, man? Shout out to my man Grego, another X Squad affiliate. What's good? Hey Grego, what the X Squad? You said you said X Squad on the back of your name, man. You ashamed of us now, man? <laughs> anyway, my man Grego is also a West Cobb uh representative, man. He he's he's here <laughs> right down the street from me, man. And and uh dude is a professional troller, but it's all good, man. So um like I was saying, um it it, it doesn't make any sense, man. It doesn't make any sense. There was some good. Let me see. Bootsy just said something. Everybody in both college and pro shoot threes constantly. I'm watching Kansas and Purdue game, and there was like a three minute stretch where every shot was a three pointer between the two teams. Yes, man. That's what I'm saying. Everybody's going 
everybody's going to slap ham on from way beyond the arc. Go ahead and draw. Why is nobody driving this ball in, man? Work this ball. Work the ball down in the middle, man. You